Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to Hop and Help and today I'll be talking about the five things every reptile and amphibian owner should have. Through my many years of owning predominantly frogs and geckos, I have learned just some tips and tricks along the way to make your life easier. So starting off strong, I literally don't know how I used to do it without this. Number one, a shop vac. Having a strong, compact vacuum dedicated solely to my animals has been an absolute lifesaver, especially when it comes to substrate changes. I used to literally use a dustpan for all of my 20 enclosures to get all the substrate out, and now I just hook up my shop vac and I get rid of all of it. And even for spot cleaning, like my larger lizards, especially my omnivores, I just take the lizards out of their tank and hit the surface with the shop vac and all that dried up kale and collard greens goes right into the shop vac. And if you keep feeders of any kind, oh my goodness, so, so, so helpful, especially for my crickets. When I'm getting a new shipment in, just take that shop vac into the empty bin and you're good. Just disinfect a little. It's literally amazing. I do have one that has a cord though, and I would suggest just a cordless. I mean, it works, but it's a little bit of a hassle, especially with the 8,000 plugs that you have for your lights and everything. Now this one might sound a little silly, but number two, a water pitcher. I have a designated water pitcher just for water changes in the reptile room. I personally like having this because it makes refilling waters and water changes super easy so I don't have to carry back and try to not tip over water as I'm leaving the bathroom. And since this pitcher stays only in the frog room, I know there's no contaminants in it. I also have a water Water cup that I use to water some of the tight places that I have pothos and whatnot in my chameleon closure and some of my bioactive tanks. A little bit easier than a giant pitcher, but having these two items dedicated solely to my frog room lets me know there's no contaminants and I always have easy access to have a way to dump water into their enclosures. I find it very helpful and I've been doing this honestly for the longest and I think it's just a really easy way to make sure that your water isn't contaminated. And following with the water trend, number three, a pump spray bottle. Even if you only have like one crested gecko and a bioactive enclosure, having a pump spray bottle will save your hands from those horrible cramps Cramps, trust me. And when I have 20 enclosures that need misting, it's simply the only way to do it. I have a larger pump spray bottle, but they sell like half gallons and stuff like that. I just personally hate filling it up, but I have to do it like every other day or so because I have so many humid enclosures, but it's like nothing compared to those tiny little spray bottles. And this thing never breaks. I had one break, but I actually, like they have a warranty on them and I got a free one, like just like that. So these are so amazing, so much better than your $1 spray bottles. Or if you go to a reptile store and you spend $8 on a bottle that took like 90 cents for them to produce and it breaks almost instantly. And for one of my newer hacks that again, I simply don't know how I used to do it. Number four, a scrub daddy. I used to use sponges like a long time ago and they were just breeding grounds for bacteria. They were absolutely disgusting. And I tried to have one per enclosure, but when you have so many, it's kind of hard to one, keep track of all the sponges, let alone have like 25 sponges uh, not touching in your bathroom, you know? So it, it really, it just didn't work. I was constantly worried about cross-contamination, everything like that. And then the scrub daddy was created. I use the crap out of these things, okay? They're absolutely amazing. The fact that they get softer with warm water and harder with cold water is super nice for getting really stuck on crap, you know, from your white's tree frogs and everything like that. And I actually do have individual sponges for certain species. So like I have my toads, I have my white's tree frogs because they're my grosses, then Cuban tree frogs, then the geckos. So I still have a lot of them, but I'm also a freak about cross-contamination. So that might just be a me thing, but scrub daddies are the way to go. And for the last item, this is kind of a preference, but it has changed my life. And I only have one more enclosure that isn't like this and I hate it. So for number five, it's front opening enclosures. When I did the big move from Ohio to Orlando, the number one thing I did was only bring front opening enclosures because it was just a lot to like, kind of climb into the tanks to try and clean them and then climb out and not bang your head on stuff. So I upgraded to all like Exoterras, Reptizoos, whatever you name it, and it's been life changing. I absolutely love it. It's the best thing in the whole wide world. I'm the kind of person that if you can't do something like quickly and efficiently, it doesn't either get done as often or it doesn't get done as well. And now that I have super easy access to every single one of my enclosures, I do water changes like every other day. Even if it's not necessary, I'm still doing it, meaning that my animals have the freshest water. I'm always spot cleaning everything. And then deep cleans are so, so, so much easier. 
So whether you get front opening or the sliding doors, they are a little bit more expensive, but in the long run, it is so worth it because you're gonna find yourself cleaning your 20 gallon long and then you smack your head on the table and then there's the other one, Ugh. it was a whole thing. I think it was my least favorite thing about my old frog room is just, it was so hard to do everything because I'm sh I'm a shorter person. Like these, these don't go past five feet cause I can't reach <laughs> all the way up there, okay? And having the racks with the front opening enclosures have been absolutely life changing. And I really, really suggest it because we all have busy lives, everything's crazy, and being able to easily access your animals and give them the best care because they solely rely on you. Like their quality of life is your quality of care. So that's why I suggest having something that makes it easier for you because, you know, people do better when things are easier. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. This is coming from my brain of owning herp tiles for so long and it's something that I wish I knew a long time ago. Like I would have invested in these front opening enclosures a long time ago. I would have used scrub daddies to avoid any, you know, um, cross contamination and having a pump spray bottle instead of just breaking my wrist trying to use this normal spray bottle for ages. And if there's anything you specifically think people can't live without with reptiles, leave it in the comments down below. Everybody loves to learn something new. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. You know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe for more and have a happy day. Goodbye!